All right. Uh, it's Monday night. I'm on Facebook Live. Obviously, you're watching me here. So, um, as I'd mentioned on my personal page, uh, I'm going to be talking a little bit about ankle sprains today and lateral ankle sprains and maybe answering some questions that you might have uh, regarding ankle sprains. So, uh, the reason I'm covering this topic is because it happens a lot more often than people think uh, or might think. And hey, Diane, thanks for watching. Um, so it's actually one of the first topics that I'm covering in my OCS exam. So that's orthopedic certified specialist. I am uh, just signed up actually today to take that uh, test in March. So pretty excited to get that underway and um I'm continuing my learning so that way, one, I can pass the test and uh, prove myself as a uh, certified orthopedic specialist. But uh, yeah, they were talking about ankle sprains today, so I figured I'd talk about that as well. Um, a really interesting fact that I found that they shared, which I didn't know this before, is that up to a third of ankle sprains even can, uh, people that have ankle sprains, I'm sorry, a third of those can have pain uh, even three years after. So that is, for one, uh, three years after to still have pain after an ankle sprain tells me that we are not doing enough to prevent and treat ankle sprains. It also shows that the public thinks that ankle sprains are a uh, normal part of of life and something to expect and you know what do you do about it so uh diane and dit wellness says what do you think of bosu ball exercises bs <laughs> bs is in you know uh bullshit or bs is in uh i don't know something else but bosu ball exercises i think have their place um some people i think might put a little too much uh, investment in them maybe, but I use them in the clinic. I do think that they can be a good tool, although they are not the be all end all. That's for sure. I like that it can provide an unstable surface for you to train on and help maybe enhance the proprioception in your ankle by using them. So some ways that I'll, uh, maybe integrate some basic tasks for people with ankle sprains with a BOSU ball is lunges, whether it's a forward lunge or a side lunge onto a BOSU ball, um, if they get a little more steady, maybe some squatting. Now, squatting on a BOSU ball does not translate necessarily to squatting on firm ground. Those are two completely different surfaces. Um, I think it can be a good way to train some balance, train some proprioception, but it's the carryover is not necessarily going to be there. So I think it depends on what you're doing. Um, and hopefully I'm still live. It said... Uh, it says I'm still live, but anyway, it said processing my video. So, um, so yeah, in regards to the BOSU ball, the time and a place for them. I really like lunges onto them for ankle sprains, uh, you know, in terms of getting that step forward onto an uneven surface. And then from there, I really like to challenge ankle sprains, uh, on all surfaces. So level, unlevel, uh, and then add in dynamic movements and cutting movements that people aren't used to. So with your athletes, uh, adding in agility drills on um, maybe a firm surface. And then maybe if it's a soccer player outside, definitely getting outside. You got to train it there, too, to get sport specific. Um, so there, there's definitely multiple ways to go around it about it, which makes it very confusing. Um but, you know, the other thing is, too, is while people might interpret ankle sprains as a part of everyday life, it's not. It doesn't have to be. And the other thing is, is the more you uh, injure that ankle and the more you sprain it, the more you roll it, it's just a roll, the more likely you're going to get that injury in the future, especially if you don't do the rehab exercises necessary for then afterwards. You're more than likely going to go and sprain it again. So... Um, I see it, you know, countless times in the clinic and with patients is they come to me and it's not even their first ankle sprain. It's their third, fourth, fifth, 10th, you know, they've been doing it for years. And sometimes, you know, once it gets to that point is 
sometimes then you're looking at a surgical intervention because you simply can't stabilize and can't get that ankle strong enough to hold. So, um, and if you severely tear those ligaments, then yeah, surgery can be necessary. So, um, I'm not trying to scare anyone into surgery, but it's just something to really, it's something to really take serious and think about when you are going through rehab or when you have an injury. Um, we all want to brush it off and say, oh, well, you know, it was just a fluke. Um, that may be, it might've been just a fluke, but you still injured that part of your body and you're more likely to injure it now in the future. So if you don't take care of it, um, at the beginning and consistently, then you're going to likely injure it again. So the highest risk for any injury is a previous injury. We know that. Um, so yeah, so, you know, if you are just, if you just had a pretty good ankle sprain and some of the first things that I do to um, help rehab those, you can find the videos on my YouTube page or Instagram. Um, those include ankle ABC, so just providing some light range of motion uh, and getting that ankle moving in all different directions, doing then some resistive exercises and also some stretching exercises to get that ankle uh, one moving into a full range and then strengthening in that full range and providing stability. So balance exercises are key. Uh, Two-legged exercises, single-legged exercises um, in training, even the whole lower extremity. So hope that provides some good input. Uh, if anyone has any questions on ankle sprain specifically, don't hesitate to reach out to me and uh, message me. Um, I'm more than happy to answer your questions there. So I hope that answers some questions for you. And I will even repost some of the exercises that I was talking about uh, that I do for a lot of my patients, not all of them, but a lot of them on uh, ankle sprains when I first see them. So, um, and everyone's different. So it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be specific for you, but it could help you. So, hey, Alex, thanks for watching. Um, you guys have a great night though, and I will talk to you later.